But it's now time for our weekly political segment, Texas Face Off. You can watch it every Tuesday right here on KVU News Midday. So joining me this morning is Matt McCoviak, owner of the Potomac, Potomac Strategy Group and chairman of the Travis County Republican Party, and Tara Paul May Mayer, the communications director of Progress Texas. So first off, both of you guys, thank you all so much for being here today. Thank you. Of course. So first, President Donald Trump is threatening to shut down the U.S.-Mexico border because he says Mexico isn't doing enough to keep undocumented immigrants from coming into the country. So my first question is, how likely do you think this will happen? I think Trump has a history of pushing forward policies and agenda items that really do hurt Texans and our country as a whole. I do think that shutting down the U.S.-Mexico border would significantly impact Texas, and I would equate it to kind of like closing your eyes and covering your ears to a problem that all of these countries are facing. And so we have a duty, I think, as America to look at these humanitarian crises on a foreign policy basis and help these countries countries in a way that people wouldn't have to leave their home countries to come to the U.S. And we also have a duty to make sure that these people are able to seek asylum and able to really just make their lives better. But I think the biggest impact here would be to Texas's economy, to our workforce, to a lot of our businesses here in Texas that rely on this cross-border relationship that we do have. For sure. And, and Mal, I'll ask you the same question. Um, what do you think this is likely going to happen? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the problem here is we don't have operational control of the southern border. Um, apprehensions are at, you know, the highest level we've seen in several years. The largest caravan ever, over 100,000 people, is formed in southern Mexico and is moving north. Um, look, I don't want to see the border shut down. That it would have profound economic co uh, consequences for Texas. Uh, I think we trade something like a billion and a half dollars with Mexico uh, every day. Uh, that said, uh, we have to do something. Uh, we simply do not have the facilities to hold and detain all the people that are coming in illegally. You don't have to come to the United States to claim asylum. You can claim asylum at any U.S. Embassy anywhere in the world. So if you're in Guatemala or anywhere else, or even in Mexico, you can, you can claim asylum there. Uh, so I don't know what the answer is. Uh, what I do know is I haven't seen much from Democrats uh, putting anything on the table that would make things better. They're saying no to what President Trump's proposing, but they're not really offering anything, and that's what we have to see going forward. Okay. Now, and if closed, would that likely, you know, think? Do you think that would likely pressure the Mexican government to act more and do something? I really do think that this is kind of like a scare tactic that Donald Trump is using. I think what we should push for instead is comprehensive immigration reform. I think, as progressives, as Democrats, as all Americans believe in this America where people are able to get a fair shot and that a way toward that is with comprehensive immigration reform and not just shutting down the border. Same for you, Matt. Yeah, I mean, the challenge is we have a crisis right now. I mean, passing comprehensive immigration reform, getting it through the House and the Senate, uh, getting a conference bill out of both houses, getting the president's signature, uh, I think is pretty unlikely in the current Congress, and we have a presidential election in 2020. So I don't think that's a short-term solution. Um, I do probably agree that this is, I think, a negotiating tactic uh, for President Trump. I don't think he wants to shut down the border. And I would probably guess he's not going to. If he does, it all will be for a very short period of time. But it's clear he wants the Mexican government to do more. Now, the new government is more uh, than past governments have, but it's clearly not enough. Uh, and it's another reason why we need more resources along the southern border, particularly in the urban areas. We need additional border barrier in those urban areas on the southern border. All right. Well, Matt and Tara, thank you so much for being with us this, for this uh, midday today. We really appreciate it.